Hi, so um, this is going to be building background and making predictions, sequence of events. So with this, we are going to be reading this story, The Elephants, okay? So this is going to be our book that we read for this. There we go. Reviewing our um, vocabulary words with um, building background and predictions, making predictions and sequence of events. Remember, the things that we're doing together are the same as your class. The only thing that is different is the story that I'm using. It's just a different story. Okay. So first things first, building background questions. So these are things you want to ask yourself before you read the story, the elephants. So what do you know about elephants? So think about it. Okay, so the question is asking me, what do I know about them? Have I ever seen an elephant? Have I ever touched an elephant? So these are things you can ask yourself. So I gave you some sentence starters. So think you can use a sentence starter for, I know elephants, and then tell me. Elephants are, and then tell me. If you would like to tell me, I'm more than happy to hear it. Um, you can post it in the stream. Uh, where do elephants live? So this question, where do elephants live? Do they live in the ocean? No. Do they live in my backyard? Like these are things you have to ask yourself. Like none of these are yet are yes or no questions. You. None of these are questions that you'll get in trouble for if they're wrong. These are just what you think and what you need to let me know, let your teacher know, like things you know before you go into a story. So where do elephants live? So here's a sentence starter. Elephants live. And tell me where you think they live. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer. You don't get in trouble. It's just what do you know before you read the story? The next one is... Do they live alone or in groups? Now, if you've seen el an elephant or elephants before, you might be able to answer that. But if you haven't, you might not be. But if you've read a story about elephants, you might know if they live alone or in groups. So a sentence starter for that would be, I think elephants live and then tell me where you think they live. There's no right or wrong answer, but we will be learning about all these questions I'm asking you in the story. The elephants. All right, the next thing is making predictions, and I will put this also on the stream with this video. <clears throat> so making predictions. So remember, a prediction is what you think might happen in the story using the words and pictures. How can I make a prediction? Look and read the title of the story. Look at the illustrations. You can ask yourself, what do you think will happen in the story? What illustrations, so the pictures, do I see on the cover? Can the words in the title help me figure out what I'm going to read? As you listen and read, think about what do I think will happen next in the story? Is my prediction right? You can always change your prediction. It doesn't always have to stay the same from the beginning. You can change it because once you start hearing the story, reading the story, listening to the story, you start hearing certain things. You're like, hmm, maybe I need to change this just a little bit or you might keep it the same. And then after reading, did I need to change my prediction as I read the story? Was my prediction correct? And remember, it's okay if you do not predict the correct outcome of the story. It is what you thought might happen. And if it didn't happen, that's fine. It's a prediction. There's no right or wrong answers. It's just what you're thinking before, during, and after you're reading a story. Now, the next thing I have here is let's make some predictions. Now, it says... Look at the cover of the book. 
read the title and look at the pictures. So when I say look at the cover, this is the cover. Oops, here we go. This is the cover of the book. So I put the cover of the book for us here to look at. We have to read the title. So title, the arrow, the elephants. And look at the pictures or picture. So here we are. We see some elephants. Then I want you to make a prediction. And you can put this on the stream as well. What do you think you will learn about the elephants by looking at the cover of the book? So what do you think you're going to learn about the elephants by looking at the cover of the book? Remember to look at the title, look at the pictures. That's going to help you figure out. We're not opening the book. We're just looking at the cover of the book. So think. I think I will learn, tell me, because... And then that's it. So you're making your prediction. So I think I will learn because, so these are things you think you're going to learn about elephants in the story. And then the last thing is sequence of events. Sorry, I'm trying to see the bottom here. So sequence of events is events that happen in order. A person would explain the order of events using first, next, then, and last, or use beginning, middle, and ending words to explain the events in order. So when you're reading the story with me, you're going to be looking for these clue words, signal words. So over here, you will see now, first, then, last, next, first, second, after, and then when that pushes down, it's finally. Now, I did make a notation over here for you too. You will not always see these words, or you may see the words that are very similar to these words. So they might be those words, they might be worded a little bit differently, but those should be a clue to you when you're reading like, oh, I think this is a sequential story. There's sequence. It's telling me this is what happened first. This is what's happening next or second or third, whichever. And then that's the end of this. Um, let's go back a little bit. So we discussed building background, making predictions, and sequence of events. So we were talking about questions that we might be seeing in the story before we begin. We discussed predictions, we made a prediction, and then we were discussing sequence of events. So remember, if you have any questions or if you're confused with things, always remember it's great to ask questions. There are never any wrong or right answers to anything that you ask. Everything's perfectly fine. Just ask questions. We're here to help you. Okay. Talk to you soon.